Hello guys, in this video we are going to discuss about the Smith rearrangement. We all know about the Hoffman rearrangement, Lawson rearrangement and Cartier's rearrangement which are previously discussed in my previous videos. So Hoffman rearrangement basically involves the N-bromoamide, the negatively charged anion of N-bromoamide as the starting material. Lawson rearrangement involves the acylated hydroxamic acid and Cartier's rearrangement involves acyl agide as the starting material. All of them eventually produce the isocyanate as the intermediate during the reaction, which then undergone nucleophilic attack. In most cases, water is a nucleophile which leads to the formation of a amine which has one carbon less than the starting materials. So in case of Smith re re rearrangement, the starting material is quite same as in case of Cartier's rearrangement. So it is basically the protonated form of the acyl agide. So why it is protonated that I will discuss during the reaction mechanism. So first consider how it is made. When a carboxylic acid and hydrazoic acid, this is hydrazoic acid. When these two compounds are treated with strong acids like H2SO4, then this intermediate generated in the reaction mixture and then it will undergo a Hoffman or Cartier's or Lawson like rearrangement to produce the isocyanate as the intermediate. In case of Cartier's, the starting material is produced. from this acyl hydrazide. So after the diazotization of this acyl hydrazide by NaNO2HCl, the corresponding acyl azide is formed. So the main difference is, is in case of Cartier's, this N- minus is not protonated, but in this case it is protonated due to the presence of strong acids like H2SO4. So if we consider the reaction mechanism, then in the first step, the strong acid will eventually protonate the carboxylic acid, thereby producing the protonated carboxylic acid, from which water will exit to produce this corresponding acylenium carbocation. Which will then suffer the nucleophilic attack by the hydrazoic acid present in the reaction mixture. which will lead to the formation of this intermediate. So after that, the actual rearrangement will take place where the lone pair of this nitrogen atom will attack this carbonyl carbon and this alkyl group will migrate to this nitrogen atom and nitrogen will eventually leave the system and thereby forming this protonated isocyanate which will then undergo hydrolysis which will then undergo the attack by water molecule to essentially produce the corresponding carbamic acid and after that it will degrade and produce this amine which has one carbon less than the starting carboxylic acid. So the main advantage of this reaction is it essentially requires one step to synthesize this required starting material for the particular rearrangement reaction. So now let us extend this rearrangement into a ketone system 
which is very important in terms of synthetic point of view. So if we treat this ketone with hydrazoic acid in presence of strong acids like sulfuric acid, then what will happen is that this oxygen will get protonated. which will lead to the formation of this carbocation then the azide anion will attack in this center to produce this corresponding intermediate this molecule will eventually lose the water molecule to produce this intermediate which will then undergo a Beckman like rearrangement step and this N2 plus will exit from the system as nitrogen gas and this will lead to the formation of this intermediate a water molecule will then attack in this carbon center and the produced molecule will then undergo a tautomerization a tautomerization to produce a amide so we can see that the initial ketone was a six membered ketone but after the reaction the ring has been enlarged and the corresponding cyclic amide is formed. So these type of reactions are very important in terms of synthetic point of view. So this is one application of Schmidt rearrangement. So that's it. I hope that this video is helpful for you guys. If you like this video then please subscribe to my channel. It will help me to produce more videos for you thank you for watching this video see you in the next video